Hello and welcome to chapter 5 example set CSE 251 modeling logic. In this presentation, we will look at a couple of examples from chapter 5 with respect to modeling logic. So in modeling logic, in addition to the symbols we learn in propositional logic, you, can, you may recollect that we have two important symbols that is the box and a diamond. So using this, let's try to uh, build a couple of examples or solve a couple of examples. So just as a quick recall, this is called the box and uh, it means necessarily or the agent Q knows. This is called the diamond and it is possibly or something close to there exists. It is consistent with the agent's knowledge type. That's what it would be. So here we will take the interpretation of a box being necessarily and the diamond meaning possibly. So let's now look at the above uh, question and try to write the solution out. Consider the Kripke model M in which the world has the following uh, characters or letters A, B, C, D and E. The rules have a is connected to C, A is connected to E, B, A and so on. And the language of A has the letter P, B has P and Q, C has P and Q, D has Q and E is 5. Draw a graph for M. So this is how I would go about doing this and you are free to actually draw this in your own manner. I go about drawing this based on the rules that are given to us. That's over here. So the first rule says A is connected to C. That means there are two states. State one is A and it's connected to another state called C. So now what does the language of A? It says it has P and C has P and Q. The next rule says A goes to E. So I draw this like this and this is E. And E is an empty set, so it contains 5. Or you can just represent it this way without anything. The next rule is B goes to A. And also you have B goes to C. So let me draw this here. B. Now the language of B is P, Q. Then we have there is another state D which goes to E. Now what's the language of D? It has the letter Q. And finally we have E goes to A. So we have captured the states, the entire world and the language of all the states. So this is how we draw the graph for a given model. The next question, investigate if the formulas below have a world which satisfy it from the previous model. So quickly let me just redraw uh, what we had drawn in the previous slide. So this is the model, uh, the graph of the previous model. So what do we need to see? There is a possibility of a queue and not all paths have a Q. So looking at this, the first thing is A is satisfied if this is satisfied. So let me see if there exists a path that satisfies this. So let me take A. Now A satisfies this implies I should be able to traverse a line from A which satisfies this. So from A I have two paths. This is one and this is the other. A goes to C. That satisfies. That is I can do this. And hence A holds or is true. Now the second part of it is not this. That is all the paths have a queue 
does not hold true. Now again we can see that A if there isn't a path that has that satisfies Q that is if we see E over here it's empty so this is not true hence A not of grad Q is true. So this entire thing, so A and not Q holds. So we found a path in this model for which this formula holds. Now let's look at the second path. There is a possibility of a path which contains P and the next state from there is a Q. So let me consider here the node B. So my claim is that B satisfies this. That is, there exists a path such that Such that P or grad Q or diamond Q is satisfied. That is the path A. A satisfies P or diamond Q. So A satisfies P and the next step from P which is the next step is Q. So it satisfies both. So A satisfy P is true and A is also true as C, the language of C has Q. Hence, B P or diamond Q holds. So we found the path here which satisfies the given formula uh, for the world. So this is the way we, we draw uh, we, we check the satisfiability of a formula given a world in the Kirpke model. Uh, now let's also have a look at distinguishing two uh, given uh, two formulas. Uh, are they equivalent or are they different? So here we have two formulas. One is diamond P and Q and the second one is diamond P and diamond Q. So let's see if these two are uh, equivalent. So what does P, what does this imply? So that means, so if we say X implies this formula, then there exists a rule X comma Y such that Y has P and Q. Now clearly, if Y has P and Q, then Y as P and Y as Q. This implies X belongs to diamond P and X belongs to diamond Q or X belongs to diamond P and diamond Q. Sorry, this is not a mirror, or it is this implies. Now let's look at the other way around. So X belongs to diamond P and diamond Q. This implies there is a rule R belongs to X comma Y prime, let's say, such that Y prime belongs to diamond P and
then there is another root r x comma y double prime such that y double prime belongs the language of y double prime has a dumb q uh, sorry has a p and y double prime has a q now this is not the same as saying now this is not the same as y belonging to the language of y having p and q we cannot prove this from this because y prime can be different from y double prime so let's see a simple graph that satisfies this so suppose we have a model a goes to another post p and a goes to q which are two different states so this is c and b so the language of c is equal to p and the language of that is the language of c is p and the language of b is equal to q now clearly a does not have diamond p and q why a language of a has diamond p and diamond q so this is the way we can distinguish between any two given formulas they are not equivalent there are formulas which are also equivalent those equivalence formulas have been provided in the book and also discussed in the video lectures please have a look at the video lecture